Hello, this is Pastor Bob Vale from the Laporte First United Methodist Church. I wanted to give you a daily devotion today about the question of whether the coronavirus pandemic is a sign of the end times and the return of Jesus Christ. I've received a lot of questions and emails about, Pastor, is this the end times? Is Jesus coming back because of this pandemic and people dying and this plague that we were in? Let me first begin by letting you know that I do believe that Jesus Christ is going to come back for us. Called the rapture, uh, where he'll come back to uh, bring Christians back into heaven. However, I want to give you the answer to that question. Is this pandemic referring to the end times or the return of Jesus Christ? And the practical answer to that is no. However, the ultimate spiritual answer to that is no one knows except for God. You see, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verses 32 and 33, here's what Jesus said. He said, about that day, this rapture, or the hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. So Jesus said he doesn't even know. Only God knows. But it will happen. I've seen a lot of chatter. And you're probably seeing a lot of um, Facebook or YouTube or videos about this is the end times. And the world is coming to an end. And I do not believe that. And I want to share some biblical scriptures about this to let you know that God is still on the throne in control. Now, as a pastor, I have studied extensively in my pastoral training in both Bible college four years and also three extra years in my master's in seminaries on the biblical doctrine of eschatology, which is the end times, okay? I've been looking at Bible prophecy from the books of Daniel, Ezekiel, Revelation, and also uh, from 1st Thessalonians and the four, first and second Thessalonians and the four gospels. I know about the doctrine of pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation. I understand the elements and the doctrines of the thousand-year millennial reign. I know what the Bible says about the abomination of desolation, the Antichrist, the false prophets, the seven years, seven seals of revelation and the return of Jesus Christ. I have studied these passages over and over throughout my training in history and the interpretations. Now. I want to bring to your attention Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 through 8. And here's what it says. This is Jesus speaking. You will hear wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, there will be earthquakes in various places. All of these are the beginning of the birth pains. Now, as Jesus is talking about that, remember at the beginning it says, do not be alarmed, don't be afraid. And as we look at that passage and look what we're going through today, certainly there are no countries that are at war with each other right now on the planet, and no one is seriously saber-rattling saying we want to go to war. So that one is out the window. Currently, we do not have widespread famine in the globe. Even though in Africa right now we have locusts, but we are not hearing about famine. So that one is out the window from the Gospel of Matthew. And currently we do not have widespread earthquakes around the globe either. So that particular passage, as we look at that in our current conditions, say no, this is probably not talking about that. The last passage that I want to refer to is Revelation chapter 6, verse 7. Now, let me tell you that I do believe in prophecy. Remember that um, Jesus was prophesied um, by Isaiah and Joel about the becoming of the king as the baby Jesus. So I do believe in it. Now, Revelation 6, 7 talks about this fourth seal of the seven seals. And here's what it says. The lamb opened up the fourth seal. I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, come. And I looked and there before me was a pale horse and its rider's name was death. And Hades was following close behind him. Sounds awful scary, doesn't it? They were given the power over one-fourth of the earth to kill by sword, 
by famine and by plague. Now plague could refer to the coronavirus. However, the coronavirus, as we're looking at the statistics, has a death rate of only maybe one to 3%. And on this particular passage, it's talking about 25% of the global population. So I do not believe the coronavirus is dealing with this particular prophecy, a scripture of the fourth seal. Yes, the coronavirus is definitely a global pandemic, and it will be with us for the next year or so until a vaccine is created and given to the world. And we need to pray for our doctors and nurses and scientists to have that vaccine come sooner rather than later. Until then, much of America will see sickness. We will see some death from this. However, we will get through it. God is with us. At this time, as I look at the scriptures and answer this question, is the coronavirus pandemic the beginning or in the middle of the end times and return of Jesus? I don't think so. The key to being ready for the return of Jesus is simply be ready. Just be ready as a Christian. Live your Christian life with love, with joy, with courage. And when Jesus comes back, you'll be ready. And he will take you into heaven. We don't know when, we don't know how, but we know that it will happen. And so may the Lord bless and keep you and uh, be safe out there. God bless.